Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your brand new Dynamic Zero to Hero show. I am Ramit Paul, your favorite Microsoft MBB. I am excited to present Komi Shavi from Togo, a small country in Africa, to this podcast episode. Komi is also known as Vina Shavi. He is one of the great speaker in Microsoft Dynamics community. He is also my one of the favorite. I don't miss any of his session from the community. So without further delay, let me welcome Komi to our show. Good day, Ramit. Um, I would say thank you very much for inviting me for the show. And um, I must say it's a great honor. Thank you. Great, great, Komi. Really great. Really appreciated you, you took some time and joining in this podcast. So Komi, uh, we, although we know who you are, <laughs> what best you can do for the community and what you are i really follow you from the community we are basically our friends in the community so the world uh i mean wants to know i mean say we want to hear from you who is komi and what world does not know about komi okay um great okay so um i'll start with uh, my full name so my full names are siadi komi wina um i'm bilingual meaning i speak both french and english so i am originally from togo togo is a small french colony in west africa and um, that is where i was schooled and um but currently i am in nigeria i'm very sure you know nigeria um, so I moved to Togo. I moved from Togo rather to Nigeria in the year 2012. And uh, when I moved to Nigeria, I started as a French teacher. So I teach French language in schools, right? And um, I think after two years, I found interest in IT, where I started learning the basic web development languages like um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So while I was doing the French teaching job, I was also doing my web design job alongside. So I think from there, I started building websites with WordPress, so on and so forth. All right, so how did I come into Dynamics or Microsoft Dynamics 365? So I remember vividly, I, I met a friend on one of these uh, social media apps, and uh, we also speak French, right? So. Uh, we were chatting one day and I made mention to him that I'm also a programmer and we became close. So he told me that he works with Microsoft Dynamics and he would like me to also be part of that. So in 2018, in February, we had a, a dinner together where he tried to explain the different parts of Dynamics 365. He told me about AX and uh, I think then in Nigeria, Dynamics 365 F and O was not that rampant. We had AX 2012, AX 2009. So I picked interest in it and I joined the organization in Lagos, Nigeria in 2008. And I joined as a trainee. All right. So I would say that's a little bit about me, uh, Rami. Great. Awesome. Awesome, Komi. It's really. Uh, motivational, uh, inspirational, like you, how you have changed your career from web designing. You have, you have lived your life. You have experienced. You have, you have experienced done some experiment in other technology as well. That's good. So you have started your Dynamics yeah. career from 2018, right? Exactly. Great. I can see you are wearing a, a great T-shirt called Nigeria Dynamics 65 Group. Yes. Yes. Great, great. We also want to hear from you. What is Komi's success story? How Komi become uh, today's Komi? Like everyone wants to hear from Komi from his session. So if you can just share your experience about your success story. Now. Okay. All right. So I would say, um, like I said, Ella, when I joined in 2018, I joined as a trainee consultant. And believe you me, I work with uh, a company called GEMS Consulting. When you join GEMS, they don't care whether you are a novice or you are just starting, right? They just throw it in a big project and you try to find your way. 
So by finding your way, you try to discover new things here. So I remember when I joined then, I joined as a technical consultant. So of course you need to, before you are able to customize the system, you need to make sure you know some functional processes here and there, right? Uh, I, I remember when I joined, I was given a whole folder that contains so many classes on how to write code, how to create forms and stuff like that. And at the same time, you have to know how to configure the system, right? So I think that gives me the opportunity to keep on learning, learning and learning. So when I have an issue, I think I always go to the internet, try to browse, get some issue fixed. And if I'm not able to get the, the response or the result, I reach out to my colleague. So by doing that, I began to build more confidence in myself, right? Because I know when I have this issue, I want to make sure that I resolve it before, or I try my possible best, even before I go to my next superior to ask for, for help. So with that, I was able to learn both the functional at the same time, and also learn the technical, right? So I can configure a system, um, starting from creating the organization, bringing in the of accounts, doing some ledger setup here and there on the system, right? And with that also, I've been able to work across different industries. I've worked with uh, industries like oil and gas, the finance sector, manufacturing, so on and so forth. And meeting with different people gave me the zeal to learn more and more because before you are able to to even tell the client this is what you need to do, you have to make sure you understand what you are telling them. So that gave me the zeal to learn every day, day in, day out. So I think um, that's my motivation. Great, awesome. I mean, so I have noticed uh, learning uh, in each and every sentence in your success story. So I would say learning is the main weapon that we all can take from any success story that without learning, we cannot proceed further. Learning is the main weapon, right? So that's what I think from your yes. success story, it reflects how we have learned it. And I must say that in this, uh, in this world, to have a technical and functional knowledge like you have, it's very, you know, unique. It's, it's, it's really inspirational, like, you know, in these days, we also would like to go only one like functional or technical whoever does what they will do only thing but your technical or your expertise is something unique what i can say great awesome and Komi, tell me Thank tell you, us yeah. something about how, what motivates you to share your knowledge and resolve business problem in daily to daily basis and share session in the taking session in the community what motivates you to do that all right, so so like I mentioned at the beginning, I told you I was once a, a French teacher, so I teach people how to speak French. So um, teaching has always been part of me, right? Uh, and mostly I teach kids uh, from primary school and, um, and high school. So I, I find it more teaching people because I believe when you are trying to teach someone, you even learn more, right? And one thing is, uh, I noticed another thing, since I joined the community, there are even some things that I didn't really know in depth before. But because I want to try to help someone, I have to go and make more research to be able to teach someone. So um, my passion for sharing in the community is not only to share in the community and get noticed, but it's for me to even learn more. Great, super, super, Man, really exciting. And, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, inspiration for all of us, like, we always get some motivation from you or the other expert in the community. Great, great. Thanks for sharing your experience, Komi. So, Thank you, Rami. Thank you, Rami. Yeah, right. So uh, another question, like, you know, uh, we want to know that what is Komi's suggestion to the next generation who wants to be the next Komi? So what you can suggest to the next generation, you know, or to the world? Okay, so for me, I would say uh, being consistent and um, patient is the key. So when you're doing something um, and you see people are moving faster than you, I don't think you should rush because they are moving ahead of you. Just be where you are. And, and once the time comes, I believe you me, you're going to go higher. I, I, I remember when I was 
struggling with dynamics, trying to learn here and there. I was just on the low, right? Um, and I think I remember very well when I joined the community back last year, I went to check my very first post, post on the community in 2018 where I asked one question. And I think up to now, nobody rep responded to that question. So when I look back, I was like, wow. So I asked the question here in 2018 and today, I'm able to even help people with their own question. So what I would advise anyone that wants to um, succeed in any career at all is make sure you follow the due process. Don't try to jump steps, learn, be consistent, and especially be patient. Once your time comes, everything that you've been doing in the past is going to surface. Super, awesome, great, Komi. Uh, uh, what I have, you know, uh, what I personally liked from your uh, suggestion is that being consistent, don't compare with anyone. Your time will come. Really great. Thanks. Exactly. Thanks. Exactly. Exactly. Great. Thanks. And uh, one more question, Komi. I find it very interesting and very uh, awesome. I can say in your name, you write as Winner Komi. Komi. Winner Sevi. So what is the story behind it? Okay, good. All right. So um, I was actually born in Nigeria, which is, a, which is an English-speaking country. So um, my dad uh, is a religious man, meaning uh, we are Christian, right? And he's, he's a pastor. So the story behind the name Wiener, that was what my daddy gave me as a name. So everybody calls me Wiener, Wiener, Wiener. And I asked him. Why winner? So he told me uh, uh, when he when he, they were about to give birth to me, he had some challenges, people trying to persecute him, right? So he told me that when they gave birth to me, he said, I won them. Like he won people that are trying to persecute him. So that was why he gave me the name winner. So that's it. So I think even I like the name because it's helped me to to win, win, win all the time. <laughs> Great, awesome, inspirational, I would say. Uh, thank you yeah. so much, Komi, uh, for your time yeah. for this podcast. I really appreciate. Uh, I definitely would like to attend more of your sessions. Not myself, also from the community, all wants to you know attend your sessions. How you present. That is commendable. I mean, it is very appreciated and very knowledgeable and very, you know, good good sessions. I would say uh, you present. So thank you so much once again for being here. I from the from the podcast show. We wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Keep keep winning for, for me. Thank you very much, Ramit. Uh, I really appreciate the invitation. Thank you so much. So ladies and gentlemen, this was Komi Sevi for you. Really inspiring. He has uh, you know, achieved a lot of things in his career. He has started his career as a French teacher. He still likes to teach, but in a different forum. He wants to, he likes to teach all of us. He wants to share, he always shares his knowledge to the community. And a lot of people take this advantage and uh, take, I mean, get uh, good knowledge from his you know, session and blog post and everything. So for Komi's the contact details, you can find in the description of this podcast. Stay tuned for our next episode next week. Thank you, Komi, once again. Really appreciate it. All the best, Komi.